hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Hitesh and I'm back with another tutorial so in our last one we sculpted the legs and the base of this fire pit and today what we are going to do is we are going to finish the rest of it so let's work on these bars I'll select my Prim Dynamic Brush So I'll just quickly sculpt the hard edges like this. Now you don't have to sculpt every area of this model. Maybe just few dents here and there like this and rest will do the surface noise. Or maybe some dents on the top like this so I think this much should be enough now let's work on this one So the advantage of symmetry is that uh, you don't have to sculpt entire thing manually you can just work on one side and it will replicate the effect on the other side it will save you a lot of time like this now finally for this part To smooth this area out to remove this mesh deformity
so we're done with these cylinders let's work on these bars so now you can also add them in polygroups and work each one separately but i think i'll just sculpt them as it is So to sculpt on both sides, what I'll do is I'll go to transform and also activate symmetry on Z as well, like this. So as you can see the result here. So for now I'll just turn off symmetry so that we can sculpt this area first and then we'll move on to other parts. And now we can turn on symmetry like this so let's work here
so we are pretty much done we just need few more sculpt here as you can see that we have left two bars so let's just finish this so again i'll just sculpt like this and we are done so our prop is sculpted we have removed all the hard edges now we can add surface noise so let's go to this surface go to noise and now we have this detail on our surface if you increase the noise scale it will get bigger like this and you can change the variation by taking this curve so first i'll add this click ok then apply to mesh and now we have a very subtle noise in our mesh like this now what we can do is we can go to our light box go to your brush and select this mallet i'll choose this mallet first and now you can use this mallet to damage this a little bit more like this and maybe smooth it out a little bit like this now i'll just turn off symmetry altogether and maybe add a little bit of variation here like this and you can add damage like this in few more places like this
I think this place got damaged a little bit extra so I'm going to go to my clay builder add a little bit of geometry here like this it's not going to be same but I think we can fix it a little bit like this it will give a little bit of that molten metal welding type effect and we can repeat the same process on this one I think and then we can go back select our mallet and let's work here and see if it gives some nice result let's smooth this part out a little bit and then take your trim dynamic and sculpt like this and now we can go to our light box again in the noise Go to edit, increase the scale, like this, and OK, apply to mesh, and now we are done. Now you can change the material color to see how it would look. So I think this looks pretty good and uh, I think I'll leave this here and in the next one we are going to export this and create a low poly mesh and then unwrap it and finally we will texture this in Substance Painter and finish this prop. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well and if you did then you know what to do. You can like this video, subscribe to the channel and follow me on the Instagram. All the links are given in the description. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.